Ghana is making way. Ghanaian students are innovative they are creative in fact they are putting out africa to the map this is a big win for ghana when i saw this i was totally shocked the how can this student think of creating such a thing in ghana and i hope ghana government are seeing this we all know how expensive it is for those with kidney related issues these students made kidney dialysis machine they'll be able to assist people that have kidney issues in a very affordable cost hey ghana 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 let's watch the video guys is this a solar powered homemade dialysis machine and what is it about i mean how did it come about so please um when a person's kidney gets injured or diseased from an accident or maybe from a disease like nephritis and the kidney can no longer perform its function like it's supposed to which is filtering of toxic substances from the body like urea excess salt and then dissolved minerals and then maybe excess water then the nephrologist will opt for a dialysis treatment to get those waste substances out of the body and this is the dialysis treatment so what happens is that blood is taken from the patient okay first um an arterial a vein and then an artery are connected to form a fistula so to give the patient a firm grip because a lot of pressure will be needed to take the blood from the patient and then go through the whole process so the red tubes that you see here take the contaminated blood from the patient and then the peristaltic pump they work under the principle of peristalsis so it, it will we have flexible tubes it will contract and then relax to provide the right pressure for the fluid to flow through and then we'll come to the dialyzer here you can see this fiber like things here please can you move the camera to this please you can see this fiber like things here inside is a fluid called a dialysate so it has lower concentration than the contaminated blood so the contaminants will move from the blood into the solution through diffusion and then it works using the principle of diffusion osmosis so the purified blood will then run back to the patient so please i would like to hand over to Presla to help us with the whole operation of the device but, but before Presla comes in what were some of the items that were, um, were used to build this dialysis machine solar power dialysis machine? Okay. so please this thing that you see it's a local board this dialyzer we bought them the chips we got them and this one too we bought them but we looked on this one like you see to make this in our school and then we have a um, blood pressure sensors we have electrocardiogram and we have these buttons so most of them were locally sourced right um, we have the solar panels that once we got them so our device operates on solar power so in case there are power outages the system can still run interesting interesting um you wanted your colleague to also come in i don't know um write your name my name is prisla sampama prisla what do you have okay so i will take you through how the whole thing works things okay so she made mention the contaminants being um, stored in the patient so we have two tubes the red one and the blue one the red one will take the contaminated blood from the patient um, through the peristaltic pumps to the dialyzer where the filtration will take place so the blood is being filtered here and the contaminants will be remained in the dialyzer and the filtered blood will pass through the blue blood tube back to the patient so it's a cycle it's continuous and um, it will take about four hours for all the contaminants in the patient to be removed okay so the patient vitals will be measured we have sensors built inside the machine and all the vitals will be displayed on this screen so the blood pressure the electrocardiogram blood flow rate and temperature all of them would be displayed here for the doctor to see we have also programmed the machine to make automatic adjustments to any deviations for instance when there is a significant drop in temperature the machine may increase the pump speed for um to maintain the system to um, circulate all the circulation should be um, constant and no deviation so we also have visual alarms that will alert the doctor to any deviations that I talked about so that they can attend to the patients can this really work in a health facility so please honestly speaking this is a prototype so it has to undergo um, some process of refining before it can come to the market so more scientific refining before it can come to the market so now what are we waiting we want to invest because there are lots of things that we are planning on adding we want to add robust peristaltic pumps that will actually trap the air bubbles that we can even see because if they should go into a patient it can end up killing the patient so we have a lot of modifications to make what's really inspired the team to do this Please thank you for the question. Please, we heard of the dialysis treatment situation in Kolebu Hospital, and then we got to know how dialysis treatment is very costly in our country. So we decided to create an, um, an affordable dialysis solution using locally sourced materials so that the cost of production will come down. So that in the next two to five years, we expect that this machine will be deployed to hospitals and clinics in Ghana, so that the poor, those in um, far areas, those in areas with reliable power supply, can get access to affordable dialysis treatment. At this point, I give it up for Ghana. Yes, I give it up for Ghana. The STEM system of education has come to stay in Ghana, and this is the impact of it on the students. When I tell you people that Ghanaian students 
are so intelligent and innovative this is creativity at its peak you all know how kidney dialysis work and these students brought this into limelight you know they made this year in ghana this is made in ghana kidney dialysis machine made with solar the stem system of education is impacting in the lives of these students and as well these students what they learned in the school they are already portraying it they have not even attained the university level and they are doing this marvelous work here in ghana imagine when they attain the university level graduate from the university and start inventing all those things how would you see ghana in the next 10 years ghana will be the hub for technology ghana will be undone of many africans because a lot of people will be coming down here to ghana to come and acquire medical attentions they don't need to go to india to china to invent all those things are here if only the government can be able to pick the students up empower them the more you guys heard what she said she said these machines cannot be made use of because it has not attained the level of which they wanted to attain they need the government to empower them to get things that they will be able to use this machine in the hospitals for them to come up with this idea to, to use the solar power to make sure this machine is working it shows a lot it tells a lot it tells that ghana in some years to come would be the next indian it would be the next country that people would want to come into for medical attentions if not now even as it stands right now a lot of people are coming into ghana to seek for medical attentions right now people are coming to ghana to seek for medical attention when i see the potentials in these students i would say to myself ghana in the next five years not just 10 years is too much in the next five years would be so developed that people will begin to say the name ghana and they will brag with ghana with their heads up people will begin to see the goodness here in ghana these are students that has potentials the government impacts into the educational system and as well they are showing us that what we are being taught in school we are also impacting it we are about to impact it on the society by doing this dialysis machine for those that have kidney related issues this is a big win for ghana if only the government can take it up and empower these students and make sure that these students have the necessary basic things to accomplish these dreams that they have for ghana the motherland if you watch this video to this point and you have not subscribed to the channel please smash that subscribe button and please give this video a huge thumbs up let this video get to 1000 even more than 1000 likes because the world needs to see this the world needs to see the potentials ghanaian students not just ghanaian students ghana as a country has and the impact of these to the society and not just to the society but to africa at large and this is going to be a beneficiary to other african countries returning subscribers midasi and to all those that are just seeing this video for the very first time akwaba please don't forget to like share and comment see you guys in the next one bye